A local woman desperately wants to know how her father really died. Malika Akbar says the Wayne County Sheriff isn't telling the truth about what happened to her dad while he was in custody. 7 investigator Heather Gatalo joins us now. And Heather, what have you managed to uncover in this case? Well, at first, Abdul Akbar's death last November seemed destined to remain a secret. But now we've learned the Wayne County prosecutor is investigating this case that the seven investigators first started asking about months ago. I just been taught that right is right and wrong is wrong. It doesn't matter who it is. It's a lesson Malika Akbar learned from her father, a lesson that's now driving her to find out how he died. Do you think there's a cover up going on here? Yes. Abdul Alim Akbar got locked up in the Wayne County Jail last May after police caught him scrapping in an abandoned building. Malika says her dad usually called her three to four times a week from lockup, but the phone calls suddenly stopped. She says when relatives tried to visit the 59-year-old, they were told by jail staff that Akbar had been transferred. So we bounced back and forth, back and forth from person to person, from um, jail to jail, from the county to Dickerson and still got pretty much the same answer. We don't know where he is. You're not seeing him. It's basically what we got. It's like he vanished. To them. Three months went by without word. Then one day a Wayne County Sheriff's deputy came knocking. And he said, I'm sorry, but your dad died today. I said, excuse me. And he said he uh, he fell out and we couldn't resuscitate him. But when Malika saw her father's body at the morgue, she had more questions than answers. There were severe injuries to his head and face. Seeing him the way that, that he was, so swollen and beat, I was not prepared for that. I was pre prepared to see my dad, and I didn't see my dad. At that moment, it was very apparent to me that something happened. I knew something was wrong. In fact, Medical records uncovered by the seven investigators show that on October 23rd, 2014, the prisoner was brought to Detroit Receiving Hospital after an assault. The records show Abdul Akbar admits to being kicked in the face and that he believed there was a loss of consciousness. Doctors discovered Akbar's jaw was broken on both sides of his face and testing showed a possible brain hemorrhage and head trauma. Sources tell the seven investigators that deputies used force to subdue Akbar around 5.30 that morning. Records show he wasn't taken to the hospital until eight hours later. Akbar was returned to the jail after surgery on his broken jaw. But a week later, he was found dead in his cell. The sheriff and the medical examiner say he died from heart disease. Did your dad have heart disease that you're aware of? No. My dad just went and got checked. I just made him go. My dad used to ride the bike from east to west daily, all day. Is there any doubt in your mind that he died because of this assault? There is no doubt in my mind. Attorney David Robinson has filed a $25 million wrongful death lawsuit against Wayne County and two of Sheriff Benny Napoleon's sergeants. Robinson says he's been told there is video of the deputies allegedly kicking Akbar in the head but the county won't turn it over. Yeah, there isn't an excuse for hiding the truth here. Come on out with it. We too have been asking for months to see the video of that use of force on the prisoner. So far, the sheriff's office won't turn it over, but we have appealed that decision to County Executive Warren Evans. And once again, the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office is now investigating this. We've learned that the same two sergeants named in the lawsuit are also now the subjects of a criminal warrant request. Let's beg some sort of comment from the sheriff or the county. Both say because of the pending litigation, they really can't comment on it at this point. But that investigation by the prosecutor's office, not expected to be done this month. But of course, we'll keep you posted. And I'm sure you're going to get your hands on that video eventually. Yeah, we certainly want to see it. We want to see what it shows. And you're so. going to keep digging.